okay yeah and that's that's a good point also you do not want to set up manually in every character every every time it changes weapon that's why yeah. having a component here is not that uh, that much of a good idea and also because mm. creating components uh, costs some some processing time so if we mm -hmm. wanted to get rid of this fear what we need to do is first see if we if we have a gun that have that is using a skeletal mace it, it usually is because a lot of guns have moving parts this one doesn't but it's still a, a skeletal mesh so let's open it it well, looks like it does as a muscle there yeah let's show all the bones we can go to character bones and all hierarchy here we have all the bones a slide bone uh, does it really slides though? No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just in case. Yeah, and we usually have bones because, and I should put the camera so it's easier to, ex to explain. And if you want to grip the weapon, then you could use. Um, Control rig or another solution in the animation blueprint before control rig it, it could be done also manipulating some bones so you can grip the weapon and you do, need, do not need to change the animation you just need to know the target of the well the grip bone and then the hand will slide a little bit so it, mm -hmm. if you have a larger weapon like a sniper then it's the same animation but with these bones, you have a good position where to put the hand. So, yeah, a lot of weapons will, will have those bones. Now I can remove the camera. Because now if we wanted a point where to create the, the line trace, we could use the, this muscle point. And yeah, it's exactly where it should be. But I do not know uh, what collision does this weapon has. Uh, let's go to the gun physics. Yeah, so maybe it could collide here. Uh, it won't really collide here, but because uh, the, the physics should be able to for it to collide. But in order to do not mix, and in case you do not have a muscle here, you would need to select a bone, whichever bone you would like, probably the root, or if there is a bone here that, uh, for example, if your barrel can move a little bit or a slide, then you should use, for example, this bone if it can do that. But in my case, this weapon doesn't move at all so I will choose the, the root bone I'm gonna right click and add a socket here is my socket now I can move it towards where I want it and I want it want it right here we just need to give it a name a good name not just root socket so let's call it um, shooting location could could work and it's it's useful to see if there is a a way of of naming stuff for example here all the the bones are starting with uh, uh, uppercase and if you want a space then you should use a, a underscore so I'm gonna stick to that just to keep it consistent shooting location perfect now that we have that um, that socket we can go back to the first person character and 
every if we use this as a base class for our, our characters, then we we know that every character will have this well this mesh for the hands and this mesh for the gun. So we can get this component. And here we ask for the socket location. Get socket location. Perfect. Um, and also, we need the name of the socket. I believe you could get the name. There was a get socket bone name. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We can get the name here. Like it's it's really simple. Let's let's go. Let's just copy and paste this. You can also right click and copy selected uh, socket or Control C. It's, it seems to work. And just paste the name. And this wasn't it. We <laughs> I copied the the component. Sorry. Uh, yeah, let's rename it and copy the name. And now the classic shooting location. We can remove this sphere. This is proof that even though Unreal looks really pretty, everything is code underneath. Yeah. <laughs> and now we should test it. Play. And it's working like like before. But we do not need an extra component. And if our weapon change changes, then we just need to add a socket there with this name. This name, you should take in account that if we're not using exactly this name, then it won't work. Now I can delete this fear. I save it, compile, and there it is. Now, we probably want to shoot something, right? So let's create... A... Let's polish it a little before that. Like, it should help... Uh, for example, let's re remove this trace and spawn an emitter at location we need somewhere to spawn it this line trace will give us that we will use this value to know if it hit something and if it's true then it hit something if it hit something then let's break it and we want to not know where it it hit Let's use the impact point location here. And in the asset, uh, I created it with the starter content. If you do not have the starting content, we could add it here at add feature content packs, starter content. And we have a little explosion, my favorite one. Let's play. And now we have exploding rounds. There it didn't reach. Maybe it's a too little my my range, the range of the, this weapon. Let's press play. And now I'm reaching every part of the of this map. No. Cool. Yeah. I like it. Perfect. Now we want to do 